Well, hello, SNHU 107 students, and welcome to week three here in the SNHU 107 learning community. This week, we are going to dive into talking about your why for being here at SNHU and earning your college degree. But also, we're going to talk about resources that you can utilize inside and outside the classroom for your success. Plus, this webinar, we will talk about your assignments for week three and how to complete them for your success. First and foremost, your experience here at Southern New Hampshire University is important to us. It is our policy and practice to create an inclusive and accessible learning environment. If there are aspects of instruction or course design that present barriers to accessibility, please notify the Online Accessibility Center, the OAC, as soon as possible at 866-305-9430. You can also email them at oac at snhu.edu or visit the Online Accessibility Center website. Couple of webinar reminders that this webinar space, the first year experience YouTube channel, SNHU Connect Learning Communities are always an academic space. So always be mindful of your conduct. Also, these webinars are not mandatory, not graded, and there are not any extra credit points awarded. However, they will cover your assignments and concepts in your SNU 107 course from week to week. So you will learn top tips for your success. And hopefully you're also going to have a little bit of fun along the way. Just a couple of week three module three reminders is as always, Make sure that you are reading those course announcements and checking your SNHU University email. Your faculty will be posting helpful reminders, tips, tricks for your success in those course announcements. So it's so imperative that you review them throughout the week for your success. Plus the university communicates with you via your SNHU University email. Also, if you have questions, you're stuck, you're not sure on something, please make sure that you connect with your faculty as soon as possible. We want you to be successful. Don't hesitate, don't wait. Send that email, make that phone call, let us know what's going on so we can best support your success. So this week in module three, we're going to talk a little bit not only about resources to utilize for your success, but what is your why? Like, why did you start classes here at SNHU? These are a few examples I'm going to throw out there. Kind of think about if any of these stick with you. You know, one reason might be it's for your loved ones. Maybe you're showing somebody in it's in your life, whether it be children or parents or friends or family, um, that you can do this and like you can get a college degree. Maybe you're gonna be the first one in your family to earn a college degree. Maybe you're showing others and showing yourself like what hard work looks like. Maybe you are going after this degree because you want to change your lifestyle, buy things that you dream of. Um, maybe you're just here to learn or you have to get this degree for your work or you want to follow something that you've always been passionate about or maybe it's just for you like you 100% wanted a college degree so you are here and you are going to do the thing and we're so excited for you and it's important to remember your why. I like to tell students to like write it on a post-it note or a piece of paper or something and stick it like on the fridge or your mirror or somewhere that you will see it every day because when days aren't so amazing, it really can be helpful to remember your why, like why you started this journey um, and it'll push you to keep going. So this week in module three, you're gonna hear the terms SNHU resources and social supports. I want to let you know here, you heard it here first um, in the webinar, that SNHU resources are the people, the departments, the teams here at SNHU. So like your faculty, your instructors, your advisors, um, the career center team, the academic support team, which the academic support team kind of encompasses the written feedback writing team, the tutors, the, some of the learning communities in SNHU Connect. You have the lovely Shapiro Library, you have the help desk, like there's SNHU Wellness, there's financial services, there's so many, but this is just kind of a quick snapshot. Um, but for the purposes of your assignments here in SNHU, the resources are any teams or department or people or things that you can utilize that are from the university. And on the flip side, social supports are outside the classroom. So they're nothing affiliated with SNHU. These will be supports like maybe your significant other, parents, kids, friends, coworkers, extended family, pets included, um, and even yourself. Um, because, you know, none of this matters if you're not putting in the time and energy to connect for your success, right? And often we're doing things and supporting ourselves too. So just a reminder, as you work through your assignments here in week three, SNHU resources are anything from the university. So think about the departments and the people that you work with um, to help your success. And social supports are outside the classroom, not affiliated with SNHU. Okay, so this week here in module three, you have a warm up. As a reminder, your warm up is due by Sunday and it's going to focus in on resources, motivation, and supports for your success. 
Make sure that you review the module content, your required resources section before you answer that warm up. The warm ups are kind of like an open book quiz. You can take them as many times as you need to to earn the most points, but I always encourage you do the reading um, and check your resources first and then take that warm up. The second thing is you have a journal assignment all about prioritizing your time and what works for you. Um, that assignment is also due by Sunday. So just a reminder this week, two assignments that are due on Sunday. I like to go through a few situations you might find yourself in and why you might want to utilize those social supports and SNHG resources for your success. But first, I have a serious question. Can you read minds? Does anybody, anybody remember this magic eight ball? Like I have one, a student gave me one years ago. It has remained in my office forever. Um, but I always loved like, you know, ask, shaking it up and asking it questions, right? Um, and sometimes I feel like here on the academic journey, it can feel like that because Sometimes students don't reach out, even though we know they have questions or they're struggling or all of a sudden you drop off the face of the earth. And we want you to know here at SNHU that we cannot read your minds. We want you to be successful. So we want to encourage you to ask for assistance and push the easy button by reaching out to your university resources or even tapping into those social supports that are outside the university. So I don't know about you, but how many of y'all do not like to ask for help? <laughs> that word help is like, oh, cringe, I can't do it. Um, or it's hard, or you've had bad experiences asking for help before, or maybe you don't wanna like bother anybody or don't wanna appear less than smart, like whatever it might be, I want you to take a deep breath and change your perspective. And remember, you don't have to ask for help, you're asking for assistance because college is expensive. College takes a lot of your time, a lot of your money, um, and it's important for you to put your best foot forward and advocate for yourself. So when you get stuck, you have questions, you're not sure on something, please make sure that you advocate and push that easy button and ask for assistance. So you have so many ways to ac access your university resources. You can find them on my SNU. You can find them in your Brightspace classrooms. There, every department has a phone number you can call. There's emails. Um, some different departments between tutoring, some of your faculty, um, they might text message, plus you, plus you have webinar, webinars that are just like this in the SNHU. Um, learning community. So just remember, like we're literally a click away at your convenience. So some things you might find along the way of your journey, maybe not this term, maybe a future term, is you might find that you have questions. Like you're looking at assignments ahead and you're like, gosh, I have questions. Like don't wait until week seven if you have final project questions, ask them now, ask early. So you can plan for your success and make a plan so that you feel more confident in submitting your assignments. I love this one too, like ask when you don't understand. If there's assignment instructions you don't understand or an assignment you're not real clear about, or maybe you even got graded feedback from your faculty and you're not really sure what they mean or what they're trying to refer you to, ask when you don't understand because that is going to allow you to be successful and make necessary changes so you don't miss out on points moving forward. Um, ask when there's a situation. Y'all, life is going to happen. Your instructors, your faculty, your advisors, your resources here at SNHU, we are human too. We know that we can get sick, kids can get sick. Um, Work schedules change, we might have to travel, we might lose a loved one, baby might come early, baby might come late. You know, things happen, laptops break, cell phones go down, like there's, you know, weather issues that kind of just impact Wi-Fi or whatever it might be. There are situations that happen in our lives. We understand that, okay, because we're human too. So sometimes life just falls apart, your week gets away from you. So make sure that you're reaching out and keeping your advisor and your faculty in the loop when there is a situation in your life, because I guarantee you it's not gonna be the first time that it's happened or that question has been asked, okay? So advocate for you, advocate for your success, um, and let us know when things are going, because then we can make a plan to either get you back on track or keep you on track in your classes. Ask when you are frustrated. This is one of my favorites. Like who has ever put together like Ikea furniture or like a child's toy? <laughs> the directions are awful. They're so frustrating. The same thing happens in the academic world. You know, we get frustrated if like technology is not working right or something's not uploading right or we're not sure on something and you're just frustrated. Take a minute, take a deep breath, reach out to your instructor, your advisor, your university resources and get the answers that you need so that you know how to do things moving forward. The biggest thing we want you to take away from this week here in SUMA 07 for week three is that you do not have to do this alone. I love this quote, this quote by Liz Lamore. Sometimes asking for help is the bravest move you can make. You don't have to go it alone. Like reach out, connect for your success. We are here for you at SNHU and we want you to just do amazing. So give me just a second and I'm gonna share my screen with y'all. 
Um, I'm going to show you guys module three in SNU 107 so you know how to find your assignments. So one thing I wanted to point out before I dive into your assignments is up here at the top, you guys know you can access my SNU. You have a quick access to the library with a pull down menu of lots of different ways to reach out to the library. You have the academic support team here. Um, when you click on academic support, it brings up all the menu that they have for their support. There's tutoring, there's written feedback, there's workshops. There's just a ton of stuff that that one department um, even encompasses um, for your success. But underneath this help button, if you push the arrow and go to online student services, it pulls up the page for all of the university departments and people. So as you're working through your assignments and as you're thinking about what social supports to lean on for your success here at the university and to get your degree, know that they're all listed like right here. Um, and you can access them right here. Click the blue, takes you to where you want to go, right? So just I encourage you, if you haven't had the time to click through these different departments, see what is available to you as a student. I know that sometimes there's so much support and help, it can feel a little overwhelming. Like, where do I start? What do I do? Just take a minute and like think about what is one department that you're like, hey, that could really benefit me. Like maybe you struggle with like your writing or you would like a second set of eyes on your writing while well, working with academic support and using the written feedback tool is a great resource for your success. Maybe you wanna get more involved and connect with other students or maybe get involved in some clubs or organizations here at the university. Well, check out SNHU Connect. You have the learning communities like this learning community for SNU 107, but you also have clubs and organizations for your major or even just different groups. Like there's um, parent groups, there's military groups, there's military spouses groups. There's all kinds of stuff that's in there um, for you to explore for your success. So I wanted to point out that it's a quick way to find all the different departments. So to find your assignments, as always, course menu, learning modules. When you go to learning modules, you wanna go to module three. When you go to module three, y'all, don't forget to click on the introduction. Um, it goes over your assignments or goes over the module. And as you scroll down and click through it, it'll also take you to that required resources section. So that'll tell you any textbook reading you have, any helpful videos, blogs, web pages, journal articles, things like that. They're going to support your success for mod that module. So make sure you're reviewing them and clicking through them. If you have questions or get stuck, reach out to your instructor. Now, with module three, like I mentioned, you have that warm up. So you will literally just click on warm up. And when you click on warm up, my screen looks a little bit different um, because I'm an instructor, but you'll have like a begin quiz button. Um, you'll just click that and that's you will click begin quiz for any of the attempts that you have on that warm up. Remember, it's open book. Remember, you can take it as many times as you need to for your success, but I encourage you to review the module and your required resources before taking it. The second assignment that you have is that journal. So you want to make sure that you click on the guidelines and rubric because it's going to bring up a whole overview of the module three assignment. It's going to go over the directions and then you're going to see this what to submit. So you have a template again for this assignment. I encourage you to use the templates because you can open them up and type right in them. As a reminder, if you do not have Microsoft Word or something compatible, you get Office 365 for free as an SNHU student. You can find it underneath that help button, click on online student services and scroll down to that Office 365 and other software, follow the steps to get it downloaded, okay? So when you click the blue, get to where you wanna go, click on the template, it's gonna open up a document that looks like this. Remember for most of you, it'll say enable editing, editing. you wanna click on that, so then you can type directly in the document, okay? So for example, question one is to identify at least two SNHU resources that'll help you most in prioritizing your time. So you're gonna list the resources, but pay attention because you're also see, and you're gonna explain how using these resources will support your success, all right? So you need to identify at least two. If you wanna have more than that, it's totally fine. So we need at least two. So let's say, for example, for me, I'm gonna say it's the academic support team. And then you need to explain the why. So this should be in complete sentences. Uh, make sure that you're explaining like how that resource will help you in prioritizing your time and how it'll support your success, okay? So a second one, let's say for me, I'm gonna say that it is my advisor. Remember to explain why, okay? Again, you wanna pick at least two, but you can always list more. Um, question number two is to identify at least two social supports. Remember, social supports are people, places, things outside the university. So do not put your advisor, your instructor under these social supports. They belong underneath SNHU resources, okay? So same thing here. You want to list at least two social supports that will help you most in prioritizing your time and make sure you explain how they will support your success, okay? So same thing here. You want to name two. So I'm going to say for me, it's going to be my spouse, right? And then I'm going to explain why. 
<laughs> make sure you explain for each one of them. Follow the directions on the assignment. And then I'm going to say maybe the other one is like my mom. Maybe she's going to help me like review my assignments or, um, you know, help me with my kids, why I'm doing school, you know, whatever it might be, right? So make sure that you list them and then you explain why. And then you're going to see question three. Question three says there's a learning community available in this course. Well, y'all know that because you're watching the video. So SNU 107 is a learning community that's in SNHU Connect. So in SNHU Connect, there are, like I mentioned, study groups, clubs. You can connect with different departments. You can meet virtually with the classmates. Plus, you have all the helpful stuff for your course that you're taking here. So what you want to do is you want to like think about the things that the learning community or SNHU Connect makes available to you. And you want, in which they're listed right here, okay? You want to identify two opportunities that you feel the learning community offers you to help you feel connected to the university. And you want to write that response here in complete sentences. So for example, maybe it's that you want to get involved um, here at the university. So you think that being able to connect with like study groups or certain clubs or within your major will really help you feel connected to the university. Maybe it's the SNU 107 learning community, like being able to see other students taking the same classes as you um, and, you know, starting new like you. And that's helping you just like really feel like part of SNHU. That is what you want to do. As a reminder, you get access to SNHU Connect to see all the learning communities and clubs and organizations seven to 10 days after you register. So if for some reason you don't have your login yet, like don't stress because the answers are right here. Um, but I do encourage you to click through that learning community and SNHU Connect and explore. So make sure you answer that question, write in complete sentences. And then you have question four is to explain how you will take ownership of your future academic success by prioritizing your time, by using those SNHU resources, by using the social supports you listed and um, tying in the learning community opportunities that you have. Again, you write that right here. Okay, write in complete sentences. This is a great time to use that academic support team written feedback services. Remember, you can find that by clicking on academic support at the top of your class. Um, I'm gonna make sure when you fill that assignment out that you save it and then you submit it underneath your module three journal assignment, okay? So that is all for week three. As always, y'all, if you get stuck, if you have questions, you're not sure on something, reach out to your instructor or your advisor. Remember, make week three amazing and you got this.